Ade Olu Adeboye, Pastor Adeboye's son, embroiled in eight billion naira contra scandal and six court protection. Ade Olu Adeboye, son of renowned Enoch Adeboye, has found himself at the center of a contra scandal involving eight billion naira. According to report, Adeolu's company, Ranches Global Resources PLC, was awarded a contract by the Kaduna State Government during former Governor Nasser Rufai administration. However, the project was abandoned after 30% completion, despite receiving over 8 billion naira in payment. In an effort to avoid accountability, Adolu has filed a suit at the Federal High Court in Lagos seeking an injunction to restrain the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Kaduna State Government, and the House of Assembly from probing him. I regret my actions and I accept the punishment, Adolu said in a statement. However, his actions suggest otherwise as he seeks to hold the investigation into the alleged fraud and finished project. The EFCC has countered Adeolu's claim, stating that they have found evidence of fraud and criminal diversion of public funds against him and the 26 other contractors. The applicant company, Ranches Global Resources PLC, abandoned the jobs even though the level of completion is 30%, and Mohamed Arabo, a staff member of the EFCC. As the case unfolds, it remains to be seen whether Adeolu will be held accountable for his actions. His father, Pastor Adeboye, has yet to comment on the matter. And the suit filed in court with us. In the Federal High Court of Nigeria in the Lagos Judicial, in the Lagos, in the Lagos Judicial Division, holding at Lagos, switch number PH, suit number FHC LCS 1206224, in the matter of an application by Adeoye Adeolu for an order on the enforcement of his fundamental right. In the matter of fundamental right enforcement procedure, rules 2009 made by the Chief Justice of Nigeria pursuant to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, between a Deboyolu applicant and 1. Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, 2. The Inspector General of Police, 3. The Assistant Inspector General of Police, 4. The Commissioner of Police, Lagos Command, 5. Kaduna State Government, 6. Kaduna State House of Assembly, Respondent. First Respondent counter affidavit in opposition to the applicant originating motion dated from 4th day of July 2024. I, Mohamed Arabo Mill, citizen of Nigeria, of number 13, Awalawawe Ikoyi, do hereby make oath and state as follows. 1. I'm an operative of the first respondent and I work alongside some of my other colleagues in the investigation department of the first respondent. Two, by virtue of my position, I'm familiar with the facts of this case and my depositions. Three, I have the consent of my employer, the first respondent, to make this oath. Four, I have seen and read the affidavit of Adebo Sintiaminopo in support of the applicant's originating motion together with exhibit attached and I know as a fact that the achievements contained during are not true. 5. The first respondent received a petition dated 10th June 2024 from the sixth respondent, Kaduna State House of Assembly. Attached here with a marked exhibit EFCC is a copy of this petition. In the Federal High Court of Nigeria and the Legal Judicial Division, holding at Lagos, switch suit number FAC LCS 1212 2024 between Adeboy Adebi Nkwe. Applicant and the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, the Inspector General of Police, three, the Assistant Inspector General of Police, four, the Commissioner of Police, Lagos State Command, five, Kaduna State Government, six, Kaduna State House of Assembly. Order upon this motion as pertained dated fourth of July and filed on the fifth day of July twenty twenty four, coming before the court and praying as follows one. An interim order restraining the first, second, third, and fourth respondent, whether by themselves, their servants, officers, or agents, from taking any further steps in compelling the applicant, either by arrest and or detention, to attend the guy schedules meeting of 8 July 2024, or any meeting subsequently convened by the first, fourth, and fifth, and sixth respondent, in respect of the contract awarded to Ranches Global Resources POC, which are presently subject of a pending civil action filed 
at the Kaduna State High Court constituted. Hmm. Now, wow. I don't know on top of this matter as his bill. We don't know as it starts. And we don't know as it ends. Make people win as it starts and end. Make them do it in. Make them answer themselves. Yes, sir. No wonder the father is not speaking against APC. Rather, he's asking us to pray for our leaders. It is over there running a business, a pastor, or in a construction company with people's tithes and offerings. This is pure stealing and he should be arrested. If those white people can please take by their confusing religion, system of our problems will be solved for life. The way it is now, they have continued their slavery business by using spiritual leaders. Are you guys seeing what I'm saying? The next Jesus of Redeemed Church. Tomorrow, you will buy private gents while masses will be suffering. Son of Angel. What names was up clearly before making on guided statement on this matter? A close ob observation of this document shows that there are discrepancies. One state Adebo Yadebi and the other state Adebo Adeoye. I also saw it and therefore all the commentators should exercise restraint in this matter. I saw it too. Adeolu Adeboye will go scot free because he is a front man for his father, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, for contract from the federal government. It is Adeoye and not Adeboye, even me. Another EFCC chairman is RCCG Pastor. You see him now, 419, full everywhere. We're everywhere you go, like MTN. Something is fishy. RFI did not like Christians. He persecuted them while in government. How did it become so unreal to give a huge contract to a former pastor's son? He was lured into an avoidance trap of faith and paradoxically disgraced his father, his mother, and his church, and not Christians. If the allegations are true. Okay. I say that he may have gotten the contract from the state government and brought in other contractors who failed to carry out the job. He's not the one who defaulted, but the contractors who failed to carry out the job. Okay. No, Allah. You are talking rubbish and nonsense. Just listen to yourself, redeemed church member. Make them leave me a big. Shut up and stop defending thieves. The contractor is a thief just like his father who steals money from his members. Through false repents. The other boys are thieves. These are the men of God waiting for daddy's comment. This is the devil called this is, this is the devil called spiritual problem. When a political geo was talking about then. The company is different. Is it not you Nigerians that have sown your sweat money into their ministry's mission and vision so long a time? Now from them then they collect and spend on such projects now. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come you the next time. Enjoy the rest of your